Hi everybody, I'm Christian. This is um, Lazy Devs. And we're still working on our breakout clone, but we are very, very far now. <clears throat> Game looks amazing. Still having a bit of a, of a cough. I, I had a, I, I was sick for a while and man, whew. Oh, look at these explosions, love it. And then we play this, um, we get some beautiful effects going on. Yes, yes, all of this is perfect. Okay. Cool. So, um, the next thing that we have to do is the high score. And that's something I feel like, when, especially when I, you know, when I was young, I still used to go to the arcades and everything. You know, I do, did the whole shebang. Uh, I put like a quarters in the machines and stuff like that. These days, the young folks, they don't appreciate this, this stuff anymore. So uh, quite often, especially in Germany, uh, when I have students and they talk about high score, um, they always confuse high score and score. <laughs> that's, that's one fun thing. They always hold, call it high score. Like whenever you play actually the game, instead of just writing this is your score, they actually write high score for some reason. So <laughs> to iterate for you young listeners out there, so a score is just how much points you make in this specific game. A high score is when you manage to get a, like an especially high score, like something that is uh, like on a high score list. You would usually in those arcade machines, you would have like a persistent high score list of the best players that played on this specific machine. And if you manage to get on a high score list, you were, you were hot, you were hot. You're a very, very hot person because you made it on a high score list. Kind of like achievements these days, I guess, if you like a platinum achievement or something like this, or speed running or stuff like that. Except it was like for this specific machine and the, spe the machine always saved these. And of course, if you unplug it, then you, uh, then you lose all the, all the high scores because we didn't have any flashcards back in the days. We used to eat snow and walk 20 miles through the, through the snow to school and eat stone. Mm. Beautiful times. So anyway, so that's what high score means. Usually a high score means you broke into the high score list. Um, and that means we kind of have to save this somehow. Like uh, we could, of course, make it so that you have a high score list, but when you turn off the cart and reload the game, you have to restart from scratch. Um, but actually Pico 8 has a functionality to save, to have a persistent save, to save some information for later. So if you quit the game and quit Pico 8 and then restart the game, some information will be still there. Kind of like a, um, like a save state, like a battery for like Game Boy games and stuff like that, uh, like a save game. You could uh, technically use it for save game as well, although we don't have too much space for it. So what I want to do to implement after this very long introduction, what I want to implement now is um, I'm gonna create a new tab. This is gonna be the high score tab. Uh, I want to implement um, a high score list of maybe like five entries. I think this is fine. Um, so uh, we now have to actually also think about like, um, um, yeah, like UI and stuff like that, because where do we put the high score list? When do we, do we display the high score list? And something I thought about is maybe putting it on the, on, the, on the screen here. So if you press left and right, you can like turn on the high score list and turn it off. So you can view at the high score list every time you, you are on a start screen. And I think we should also put like an op opportunity when you um, um, when you die to bring up the high score list again or to get returned to this start screen so you can see what's going on. And of course, uh, when you play through the entire game, you, there's also need to be like, OK, now you have to put, type in your name and stuff like that. I think this would be kind of cute if you if we can implement this like this. Lots of things to do for us, but uh, one thing after another other. So we need a higher score list. How do we do this? And I, should, I don't know myself actually very well. Well, first of all, um, let's, let's start with the save data. So this is a bit of a code I copied from the internet. Um, so the function that we're using here is called cart data. And that kind of tells Pico 8 to reserve, like a, to create like a save file for a program locally on the computer that, where this is run on. And the save file kind of has a kind of like a name. So it, this has to be like a unique string, you need um, set of characters that names the card data. So only our card, so, so our card knows, you know, what, what, what the file, so to speak, to load. This is not like a specific file. I think you can, 
if you look through the file structure of Pico 8, you will find those things, uh, but you will never open them with any other program. So I'm going to put this here in our init, and I'll call it like something um, lazy devs underscore hero one. Uh, there is some restrictions. You're not supposed to put spaces in here. Let's see if this works. If it doesn't work, then you get like an error message, but it seems to be working. Okay. So we created like the cart data. Now, what can you do with this cart data? <laughs> well, <laughs> get pre prepared for one thing, for something ex ex extraordinary. So you have like a dset uh, thing where it's like you have an, it's basically an array with multiple, like a list with multiple entries. Uh, I don't know where, like 64 entries, I think in total. And you can put a number in each of the entries. You use it with a dset function. So um, you first you specify in which place on this uh, on this list you're putting something on, and then you specify what variable. So you could like 122. You could put put 122 on on spot number zero and slot number zero. <clears throat> and so like like a very very simple way to do a high score list. Oops. Um, let's. Uh, reset. Um, uh, I'm going to call it H HS high score. Reset I high score. So, like a very simple way of doing a high score list would be just to be like, okay, the first five slots. Uh, if we're going to have five entries in our high score list, we're going to just put different high scores in here. That would be easy. So this is going to be like on spot number one is going to be 500 points and 400 points on slot number two, or I guess slot number. Uh, it starts with zero, unlike usual arrays in Lua, which is kind of weird, right? So something like this, right? It's not a very good high score list because we are making a lot more points with this, but it's okay because it's like the reset high score list. So it's fine to just fill it with like bogus values. So you, so the first players who play this game will easily get on the high score list. Okay, so this would fill the first five slots with various numbers that we defined: 500, 400, 300, 300, and so forth. And then there is another function called the dget. And that kind of like returns the number that you saved in the save file at the specific position. So that how that's how you're gonna get um, how you're gonna um, save and load your high score into this file. But I'm not gonna do this like this because it could be nice if um, we don't have to like always look up in the in the file what the high score is. But if we had like a, our own little table um, that saved all of the high scores. So let's do this. Um, all right, um, so I'm going to create high score stuff. So I'm going to create here in our uh, init function. I'm going into the int function. I'm going to uh, create like a section called high score uh, and hs equals. Nope. Like something like this. <clears throat> Um, so I'm going to create some, some functions, load H, uh, HS high score, we, that loads the high score from the, our file. And then another is going to be save HS. Okay. Um, both functions will be very easy. We're just going to loop through this. I'm, I'm so lazy. I never want to just write down the for next loop. I always want to just copy it from somewhere else. I'm sorry about this. So in this function, we're going to loop through our high score. Uh, we called it HS, right? Where is it? HS. And then I guess the first thing we're going to do is load HS, right? Um, this is load HS, right? So in this one, we're going to just loop through HS. And um, there should be. So what I want to do is uh, I'm going to have like a, my little helper, and that helper will. Mm 
I'm gonna call it slot. And that helper will just remember which slot we're dealing with because later on maybe we're gonna self multiples, we're gonna need multiple slots per entry for our high score list because we don't want just maybe save the um, the score, but maybe we want to also save, like for example, uh, the name of the person. Maybe you want to like type in like a name, like a three character name, to to make everybody know, uh, let let everybody know how how awesome you are. Okay, but first of all, let's let's do it like this. So we're gonna go like a dget slot. Uh, and then we're gonna go like let's 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 do it like a very simple version first. HS um, square brackets. Nope, that wasn't square brackets. Ah, this this keyboard. How do we how do I square brackets? Oh, there we go. HS square brackets I equals D get slot. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I was also thinking maybe because here is the following problem: um, when you start the game for the first time, the computer has to know if there is a high score list, if this is the first time the game was ever started or not. So maybe we're gonna do the following. We're gonna go d get d get zero. We're gonna save a one in the first slot if there is data in a high score. And if you're gonna find a zero in the first slot, I guess that means that there is no no um, there is no uh, there. This is the first time we start this game, and there is no high score list saved yet. So if d get zero equals equals zero uh, if the first one is one then and then load your your high score and then of course we need to make sure that underscore slot that we increase um the slot our slot helper by one so you know we start loading on the second slot um the high score list so oh my gosh this is getting very complicated uh, do i have a some text here um, sure, yeah. Okay, does it work here? Okay, yeah. So basically, the first is gonna be a zero uh, or a one. Is there data at all? Kind of like an indicator. And then, you know, the next one is gonna be 500, 400, 300, and so forth. Uh, 200. This is going to be our save file at first. And then if this one is zero, then we know that probably the rest one is going to be zero because we haven't, uh, we haven't actually, there's nothing in our save file yet. So this is our indication for our program that we should actually uh, write some um, default data in the high score. So we create uh, the first time we create the save file is, uh, is where, where this, this happens. Okay. Okay, um, so if D gets, uh, if the first slot is zero, load the data, else create the data or, um, yeah, cr create default val values. Okay, so let's create the default values. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it very simple. HS equals uh, again five hundred, four hundred, three hundred, oops, two hundred, two hundred, one hundred. And of course, if we created some default values, we're also gonna save HS. So, because if you created those default values, we want to make sure that it actually creates the file for us. Uh, no file found. Or if file is empty. Okay. Um, lo load the... 
so far so good. Now we want to create also the function that saves the and um, oh something very important this increasing of the slot also of course has to happen inside this loop um, because that's how well, how we know we have to go to the next slot just little detail here and so I'm going to use actually the, the very similar code here to save the um, the um, save the high score list again slot um, what what was the name again for that uh, d set right d set so we're going to d set we're going to put a 1 in slot 0 to indicate that there is something happening and then slot equals 1 and then we're going to go through the um, through the high score data and then we're going to go d set we're going to set a new entry uh, and then slot comma and then the high score list i and then increase the slot like so so just to go uh, through the step once more time, we're setting the first uh, slot, we're setting to one, just to indicate that there is some safe data. And then we iterate through our high score list. Uh, and the next slot we were set, in, and we always put like the entries, uh, the contents of our, um, of our high score data array, we put this always in the next slot. Or we iterate through our high score array and put the contents of each individual slot in the high score array into our save file. That's what I want to say. Okay, let's see if this works. Um, now it would be it would be really good to know if we created the data. I'm going to put a debug in here. I hope I still have the debug inf um, information going. Yeah, okay, we created the data. So, see? But now if you run it again, oh, what, what is it? Okay, now it uh, executed different code. So, something is wrong. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. We have to initiate the actual the, 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 the code. Yeah, see, now it didn't create the data anymore because, because I assume it was already there. So if it was already there, um, let's see if, uh, let's debug it and let's see if we can actually, uh, if there's gonna be a 500 in the first slot of our high score list. So the first slot of our high score list, uh, we should get a 500 because we initiated back then and saved it into a file. So if you load it, we should we should get it back. Damn it! <laughs> it didn't work. No! Why didn't it work? Huh. This is really weird. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, know, don't know quite why. Maybe in the second slot. Hmm. Um. This is weird. Let's see if we can debug uh, directly the the file. Maybe something went wrong. So the one is in the first slot. What is in the second slot? 500. So we are getting the right information. Somehow they're not saved, quite saved in a uh, high score list. Hmm. I'm thinking maybe it's because we haven't really um, we haven't really initiated the 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 high score 
array. So it's like, it's very confused about this. Let's see. But I'm, I'm kind of wondering why Come on, man. Huh. Oh, of course. Oh, yeah. Mm, I'm so silly. So here we're looping through our high score array, but of course, at this point, our high score array is empty, so it never actually loops through this high score array. So we have to specify that we want exactly five files in our high score, uh, five entries in our high score array. And now we're getting it. In the second spot, we're getting a 400. Now everything works. Cool. Good. So we set up um, a very basic high score list. Now, at least we are saving some data in the high score list. We are um, or we initiating uh, the high score list. I'm going to re re remove this. Or actually, um, I'm going to get this stuff out here. And I'm gonna put them in here. So this is gonna be reset uh, high score, reset high score. Oops. And I'm gonna call this when the file is empty. Good. Um, so now it would be great if we could print it somewhere. Uh, I'm gonna print it like this when we drawing the stuff in draw start because here we had like the pico hero um, breakout and stuff like that here we we're going to print a logo but for now and i this is where i wanted to print a high score um, um but we don't have a logo there yet so let me just like just to see i want to just see the high score is on the screen i can start i want to start layouting it and then i can i can think of ways of you know putting the logo first and then going left to or right to, to to kind of like flick to the to the high score list but first let me uh, let me display the high score list just as a default um so i'm going to loop through it uh, actually i'm going to take this guy yeah and here as well i'm maybe just going to loop to, um hard code this that um it's supposed to be looping from 1 to 5 instead of instead of looping through the entire high score list um i'm just i just want to make sure that this 1 to 5 is kind of like hard coded. So let us let us loop through our high score list and be like print a high score list entry. And then we have to define where. Let me say like, like 10 pixels from the left and 10 pixels from the top um, plus two, three. Six, um, six times i. Six times i. Why? Well, because one, two, three, four. F I think the letters are five pixel high, and so each line is six pixels, and i is um, and and so with this thing we're gonna print in the subsequent high score in the in the next line. I just want to just print it first. Let's see what happens if, if we do this. And then maybe a color. Um, oh, always, always click here. Uh, let's go with seven. <clears throat> There's our high score list. Easy. We did it. Uh, okay, let's start layouting things. Let us start layouting things. So maybe more separation between the lines. Oh, that's, that was the wrong. Maybe more separation between the lines. Yeah, that's better. So uh, from the get go, maybe we're going to create a new function from this print. Uh, hs and then x and y coordinate why x and y coordinates well maybe because we, as i said we're going to flick through the high score list and it would be nice if it could just came from the side so i want to be controlling exactly where i'm going to print it um, actually so y might be not necessary just print x 
Um, and so let's print it at zero. And then, you know, we're going to move it in. And so that allows us to, to keep this very nice and tidy. And we can put everything in its own function. Like so, perfect. Uh, so here I'm going to go under uh, underscore x plus. That's good. So um, would be maybe nice to have like a one, two, three. So so it's kind of clear who is who is who is who. So go let's go print. Um, I um, can I do it plus something like oops like this and then all this smudge we're just gonna copy this stuff. And this is not going to be 10. Let's go, let's put it like at 50. Something is wrong. Oh, yeah, there is a comma missing. Like this. <clears throat> okay, uh, how do I combine a number with a string? I forgot how, do, how this works in Pico 8. Let's see, let me look this up. Pico. Eight. Do, 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 Is it just dot? It's dot, right? Yeah, it's dot, dot. Okay. Like this. No. X is a nil value. What? It worked. Okay, yeah, so um, this is a bit weird, um, but some, some program la languages, you can just put a plus and combine a number with a string and then it converts the number into a string and then it creates a string. Um, but in this case, uh, we have to use a dot dot to combine two strings. We can't use plus, we can use dot dot and that's kind of like a plus for strings. Okay, so um, yeah. Maybe um, we're gonna put move everything a little bit to the right. So maybe something like thirty and eighty. How about that? See, starting to look like a high score list. Now there's one more thing that I'm I'm a bit um, I don't like. Um, so uh, here, let me let me explain to you for what I mean. We're gonna have to do a small hack. HS um, one equals a thousand save HS. See when uh, one of the scores is, is has more digits, it kind of falls off. I don't like that. So I want to, um, yeah, I want to make sure that we are we're they're uh, right aligned the, the text is right aligned so how do we do this uh, lua length of string how do we do this uh, 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 uh. Um, length of string We, we there's got to be some way of doing this. String operators. Oh, it's just hashtag. That's good. All right. So um, <clears throat> so let's do it like this. Um, local score equals. 
um, or or underscore score under underscore <laughs> and then let's go like something like we do like an empty space and then we add it to our score and then um, So that allows us to be like um, minus hashtag score. That might work. And then we're going to put uh, the score, we're going to print the score instead of the HS1 here. I'm gonna explain right away if, if this works. It doesn't work though. It doesn't work. Why doesn't it work? It's actually weird that it doesn't work. What if we print the hashtag score? See? Uh, maybe we have to. Um, Do it something like this. All oh, right, mm, I'm, I'm so silly. Uh, we have to multiply it with the width of the character. Uh, that should be four, right? See, now this should be working. <clears throat> ha! So now it's uh, right aligned. Uh, now I'm gonna add some additional characters here. Um, Let's go with 90. Oops. Uh, let's go with 100. See, this is good. So, um, so this is going a bit for now um, because I wanted to expand this functionality a little bit more, but for uh, to, to, a little bit to explain what is what is happening here. So um, I'm just iterating through one to five. I'm uh, at the beginning. I'm printing kind of like the number of, of the, the i, the iterator, then the variable that we're using to iterate through this through this uh, through this array. I'm printing this as, as a number, and then I'm um, I'm creating this a variable called underscore score, <laughs> which is just a blank space, and then dot dot, um, which means adding a, a string and then um, our actual score from the high score list. Now the actual score from the high score list is a number, but using this dot dot operator, we add it to a string and thus we turn everything to a string. So now we kind of have like a um, number written out as characters saved in score. And then we print this at a specific location, but we subtract from this location the length of that string that we are printing times four. So if it's longer, it's more to the left and that causes everything to be aligned on the right side. And, you know, some other stuff. So that's how, how we can make um, um, uh, scores with multiple digits aligned perfectly. Good. So this is it for today on the next episode. We are going to rework the system immediately um, because something I really want to have is also have um, uh, uh, the the actual name of the player here as well. And you know, you're, in arcades, usually the standard is to have um, to have like three characters, three numerical characters, and we have to find out some kind of way to put them into the save data, basically because as you can see, the save data only saves numbers, and so we have to find a way to put characters into into numbers. See you next time, around, guys. Bye bye.